concentrated on these three important lines. One is a plural line, A line, B lines. Very easy, very simple. Anybody can perform lung ultrasound. Let's see the first line. Before that, see the anatomy of the lung. You have basically what we are talking as a skin subcutaneous tissue. Then we have ribs, we have intercostal muscle, and we have pleura. And the below the pleura, we have lung. How it looks like on the gray scale? This is the gray scale of the lung ultrasound. Skin subcutaneous tissue. This is the ribs. And this is the pleura. And below is your is the lung, which is artifact. I'll come back to these points. But remember, this is the skin and subcutaneous tissue. The first thing we need to identify in any lung ultrasound is a pleural line. So first landmark point identification of plural line. Let's see how you are going to identify the plural line. So friends, the plural line is nothing but this is a thin, smooth, regular, hyperechoic line below, below these ribs. So the first thing we need to identify this ecogenic line and this ecogenic line is the plural line which is located below the rib this indicates the parietal pleura. The second point you identify here, just see. This pleural line below is sliding. This sliding is called as, basically there is a to and fro movement. And this sliding is called as a lung sliding. Very important point for pneumothorax point. So what we saw? Normal lung, pleural line. And that pleural line is sliding to and fro with the respiration. So that is called as a lung sliding. I hope it's very easy, very simple. This is the skin subcutaneous tissue. This is the ribs. These are intercostal muscles. This is the pleural line. Ecogenic, most important parameter to identify. And below that is the artifact. And this, this pleural line is a sliding through the respiration, with the respiration, to and fro, that is a lung sliding. So we already covered two points. Now let's see the next line or the artifact. And that artifact is nothing but we called as A line. This artifact is a, is a horizontal lines. These are the horizontal lines. They are parallel. They are ecogenic. They are equidistant from each other. They are bamboo-like. These are A lines. So, artifact produced by this plural line with horizontal lines, ecogenic lines, they are called as A lines. A means air. Air means this is a physiological air, that means normal lung inflation, or pathological A lines means pathological air, that means pneumothorax. So, what I'm trying to say you, you will see the A lines in the normal lung. And you will see the A line in abnormal aeration. That means abnormal pathological air accumulation. A condition is a pneumothorax. So what we learned, plural line, lung sliding, and we saw the A line. A line is a what basically the horizontal artifacts, equidistance ecogenic artifacts, produced by the plural line. That's a simple thing. If I go to the next line, which are, these are vertical. Previously were horizontal. Now these are vertical lines. They are laser-like. They are hyper quick. And they also move with the lung sliding. The A lines represent aeration. The B lines represent the fluid. So A means air, B means fluid. This much we understand. A lines are horizontal, B lines are vertical. So from, from the plural line to the screen, they are seen. The B lines also can be visualized in physiological condition in a normal newborn baby in the first, preferably 6 to 36 hours. That is the fluid present after the birth. But they all disappear after 24 to 48 hours. So normal lung has A line. The B lines means fluid. And what we are talking that fluid, 
that fluid could be in the interstitium or in the alveoli. Let's see about that point. Now, various patterns of the B lines we learn. These are for the purpose of other conditions. But just to revise that, simple B lines, what is the meaning of simple B lines? You have these vertical lines. These are the, this is the plural line. This is the vertical line. This is the rib and this is the rib shadow. You can see the rib shadow. When you see this rib shadow in the intercostal space and you can identify this B line separately below the plural line, which are vertical, they are called as simple B lines. They are not compact. They are not together each other. You can differentiate one, two, three. These are simple, very B line. That means minimal fluid is there in the interstitial. B lines is a fluid. This simple B lines means interstitial fluid. Now, when I'm talking the B lines, when they combine together and they erase all A lines. Now, you see, these B lines, they have combined and formed the confluence. And there is no A lines now. The rib shadows are still there. The rib shadows are still there. They are called as confluent B lines. That means more fluid in the interstitium and going towards the alveoli. Fluid increasing. That's the increment of the fluid. The next condition of the same B line is called as AIS. Now, alveolar interstitial syndrome. What does it mean? I was talking interstitial fluid. Now, the fluid has increased from interstitium to alveoli. Now, see, this fluid has increased when you have when you have these more than three confluent B lines in one sector, that is called as AIS. That is alveolar interstitial syndrome. That means fluid has increased from interstitium to alveoli. So fluid is increasing, aeration is decreasing, collapse is increasing, and baby is in more support. That is the interpretation. So when you see such pattern, that means decrease aeration, what we are talking in that lung. So this is what we saw. That's a confluent B line. When there are more than three confluent B line in one sector, we are talking as AIS. Now, the next pattern is called as a compact B lines. When in the compact B lines, now see this is a confluent. This is AIS. In the AIS, rib shadows were still present. But in the compact pattern, rip shadows also gone. So when the rip shadows are gone, that means more fluid, more collapse, less aeration in the lung. So these are increment of the B lines. For practical purposes, you remember simple B lines, AIS pattern, and whiteout lung. These three you remember. Simple means you could see some of the A lines also. You could see the rip shadows also. AIS means more than three confluent and white out means whole lung is white out whole lung is white out and some of the below the plural line the air bronchogram is visible this is total white out lung this is a classic of rds that's a different class we'll discuss that later on but today you remember only things that we learn plural line we have learned the a line and the b line what we learn in the B line is simple B line with rib shadows. AIS pattern, more than three confluent B lines with still rib shadows and white out lung, no rib shadows, no A lines and some air bronchogram below the plural line. That's about, that's about simplification of B line.